Namaskaram. In last class, we have seen that what is a partial derivative of a multivariable function. In this session, we will discuss higher order partial derivatives. That means partial derivatives of order greater than 1. These are the solutions of last homework. Okay, consider the first order partial derivatives of this function fx by denotes it by fx and fy. And we know that this partial derivatives are again a function of x, y. Clear? For example, consider f x, y is equal to x square, y square. It is clear that f x is 2 x, y cube and f y is 3 x square, y square. So, this f x and f y is again a function of x, y. Okay, that is the meaning. So, we can differentiate this f x and f y with respect to x and y. As similar to the derivative of f of x, y. Okay. So, we can differentiate this fx with respect to x and y. So, how to differentiate this fx with respect to x? That is like this, dou by dou x of fx, our partial derivative of f with respect to x, because this is a function of x, y. Okay. We can denote this by dou square f by dou x square, as similar to our second derivative in one variable function. Also, we can denote this second derivative by f x x. So, this 2 x stands for this is uh, it represents the partial derivative of f with respect to x two times or second order derivative of f with respect to x. Okay. Similarly, we can differentiate this fx with respect to y. How dou by dou y of dou f by dou x. Clear? Dou by dou y of dou f by dou x. And it is represented by dou square f by dou y dou y dou y x. Okay. So this means first we differentiate with respect to x, then we differentiate with respect to y. That is the meaning. Also, it is denoted by f y x. Similarly, we can differentiate this f y with respect with respect to x as well as y. Okay, so its formula is like this: dou by dou y of dou f by dou y denoted by like this, and uh, this is dou by dou x of uh, dou f by dou y. That means the derivative of dou f by dou y with respect to x. Okay, denoted by f x y. Okay, so f x y stands for first we have to differentiate with respect to y, then with respect to x. Okay, that's the idea. So we have four second order partial derivatives for given function f x y. Uh, this uh, second order partial derivative f y x and f x y has a nice property. Actually, they are same. Uh, they are same means under some uh, small assumptions, if they are continuous, this partial derivatives are continuous, then their uh, f x y and f y x are same. But in general, they are not equal, but uh, in our most of the applications, they are same. Okay, so in this course, we will assume that, we assume that this f x y and f y x are same. So ultimately, we have only three partial derivatives, three different partial derivatives, f x x, f y y fxy or fyx because both are same. Okay. First problem, find all second order partial derivatives of fxy is equal to 5xqy plus x square y raised to 4. So to find the second order partial derivatives, first we have to find fx and fy. What is fx? Yes, fx is equal to. Okay. Uh, so our fx is 15x square y plus 2xy raised to 4 and similarly the derivative of this function with respect to y is 5x cube plus 4x square y cube. Okay. So next we have to find the second order derivative. So what about fxx? So fxx means the partial derivative of fx with respect to x. So what happened? So this become 15 into 2xy plus this become 2y raised to 4. Okay. And similarly what is fyy? Yes, this, this, term, this term becomes 0, derivative with respect to y is 0, and this is 4x square into 3y square. Okay, so this is uh, fxx, and this means dou square f by dou x square, and this is dou square f by dou y square. Next, we have to find fxy or fyx. Okay, to find fxy, we know that fxy and fyx are same. So, to find fyx, either you can differentiate fx with respect to y, or fy with, res with respect to x. Okay. 
So I'm going to differentiate this fx with respect to y. Then what happened? If you differentiate with respect to y, this term becomes 15x square, right? And uh, what about this one? This is 2x into 4y cube. So this is fxy, right? You can also find this fxy by differentiating fy with respect to x. That also gives the same answer. You can easily verify. So upon simplification, fxx is like this, and fyy is 12x square y square, and fxy is 15x square plus 8xy cube. Okay. Second problem: Evaluate f y y x if fxy is equal to y square e raised to x minus 3y. And what is the meaning of f y y x? That means either you can differentiate in this order or you can differentiate in this order. No problem. Matter with order does not depend the final value. So this means either suppose I am going to differentiate in this order. That, that means first we have to differentiate this expression with respect to x, then with respect to y, then again with respect to y. Clear? So first I am going to differentiate with respect to x. So what is fx? That is y square e raised to x minus 0 because the derivative of this expression with respect to x is 0. Next we have to consider f y x. So that means I am going to differentiate this f x with respect to y. So what happened? This is 2y e raised to x. Right. Again we have to differentiate one once more with respect to y that is f y y x that is equal to 2 e raised to x. Clear. So this is the derivative of the third derivative, third derivative of this function y square e raised to x minus 3y, 2 e raised to x. Next problem, let, let f of xy is equal to x e raised to 2y, then show that fxx plus fyy equal to 4f. f means x e raised to 2y. Okay, so first of all we have to find fx and fy. What is fx and fy? Yes, fx equal to e raised to 2y and fy is equal to x into 2 e raised to 2y. Okay, next uh, we have to find fxx and fyy. How to find fxx by differentiating this fx with respect to x? So, here right hand side is function of y alone. So, what about the derivative? Yes, it is 0. And what about fyy? Differentiating this with respect to again y. So, x into 2 again 2 e raised to 2y. So, it is 4x e raised to 2y. Next, we have to consider its left hand side. So, fxx plus fyy that is equal to 0 plus 4x e raised to 2y. And what about our f? f is x e raised to 2y, right? x is x e raised to 2y. So, this is nothing 4f. So, fxx plus fyy is equal to 4 times given function f. In the case of one variable calculus, we know that if a function is differentiable, then it is continuous. But in the case of multivariable function, the existence of partial derivative does not imply the continuity of the function. Okay, so let us consider an example for this problem. So actually, this problem is uh, this function has first order partial derivatives at all points, but it is not continuous at 0, 0 means this function has first order partial derivatives in all points including 0, 0. But this function is not continuous at 0, 0. Okay. Then how to find the derivative of this function with respect to x? This function is defined like this. If xy is not equal to 0, 0 then this is our expression. Whenever xy equal to 0, 0 our function value is 0. So it is clear that except this point this function is differentiable no doubt okay you can differentiate this function using our normal quotient rule so what is fx if xy is not equal to 0 0 okay okay so first we assume that xy is not equal to 0 then this is our function you can differentiate this with respect to x by keeping y as a constant using our quotient rule so minus is common take out say x square plus y square into derivative of xy derivative of xy with respect to x that is y minus numerator that is xy into derivative of the denominator with respect to x by keeping y as a constant okay so that's why this is 2x by its square x square plus y square square upon simplification we get it become 
x square y minus y cube by uh, x square plus y square whole square okay so similarly you can find uh, fy if xy is not equal to 0 0 so what is fy similar to fx fy is uh, this function into derivative of numerator with respect to y that is x minus xy into derivative of this with respect to y that is 2y divided by this one by simplifying this numerator we get like this so this is our first order partial derivative fx when xy not equal to 0 and this is fy is like this when xy is not equal to 0 0 0 next we have to calculate our fx at 0 0 and fy at 0 0 okay how for what is the formula of evaluating fx at 0 0 what is our limiting formula basic formula yes this is our basic formula limit delta x tending to 0 f of 0 plus delta x comma 0 minus f of 0 0 by delta x this is the rate of change of this function at 0 0 with respect to x clear and this this is nothing 0 plus delta x is delta x so this is delta x 0 and f of 0 0 minus uh, delta x and what about this limit and we can write this as limit delta x to 0 what about the numerator f of delta x 0 whenever y equal to 0 this term is 0 right whatever be the value of x this is always 0 so the expression becomes like this uh, 0 minus 0 by uh, what is our x x is delta x so delta x square delta x square plus 0 so what is this this is 0 because 0 by delta x square delta x is never 0 it is only tending to 0 so this value is 0 so f of delta x 0 is 0 right so this is 0 and what is f of 0 0 that is given f of 0 0 is given as 0 so that is 0 divided by delta x so 0 by delta x and delta x tending to 0 so this value is 0 so our fx at 0 0 is 0 similarly you can find fy at 0 0 what is fy at 0 0 okay its formula is like this the same limit delta y tending to 0 f of 0 comma 0 plus delta y minus f of 0 0 divided by delta y so what about this one this is f of anyway it's here x value is 0 when x value equal to 0 this becomes 0 by something so it is 0 so 0 minus 0 by delta y and now numerator is 0 so delta y is never 0 only tending to 0 so this ratio is 0 so fx at 0 0 is 0 and fy at 0 0 both are 0 now what is our conclusion now the conclusion is fx exists for all xy okay whenever xy is not equal to 0 0 this is our derivative whenever fx whenever x, x and y are 0 then fx is 0 similarly whenever xy is not equal to 0 our fy is nothing like this if x and y both are 0 then fy is 0 okay so fx and fy exist for all points that means we can write our fx as like this fx equal to this function whenever xy is not equal to 0 0 0 when xy equal to 0 similarly you can write fy as like this anyway fx and fy exist for all points and what about the continuity of this function at this point and this part is actually uh, this part is already discussed in our lecture one okay i will show the problem okay in our lecture one we proved that this limit does not exist why if you uh, if assume if we assume that x y tending to 0 0 through along y axis along x equal to 0 means along y axis this limiting value equal to 0 and uh, whenever uh, x y tending to 0 0 through the line y is equal to x then the limiting value is minus 1 by 2 so anyway the limit the limit is not unique it depends path so limit does not exist so limit does not exist so it is clear that it is not continuous at 0 0 okay so that's why this function is not continuous so from that problem it is clear that this limit doesn't exist so it is not continuous at 0 0 okay clear so its partial derivative exists at 0 0 but not continuous this is your homework thank you